Find the force that the jaws of the metal cutters exert on the smooth cable C if 100 newton forces are applied to the handles. And we're told that the jaws are pinned at E, D, A, B, and F. The first thing you want to notice is that you've got one, two, three, four, five different pieces here. The top and bottom jaw, the top and bottom handle, and ED. ED is a two-force member. That's an important thing because then when I'm drawing my free body diagrams involving that, where that's E or D is an external pin point, I only get one force there. So for example, if I look at just the top jaw, I will only have a single force at E. I will also have at the pin A, we're told that A is a pin, I'll have two forces at A, AY and AX, and I'm going to arbitrarily pick those as up and to the right, and I have the force C, that's the one I'm looking at from the cable that's being cut. Now I picked this, but at this point I have four unknowns, and even though I will get three equations, I'm not going to be able to solve for everything. So I can write the sum of the forces in X equals zero, that gives me AX equals zero, Sum of the forces in Y tells me C plus AY equals E. And the sum of the moments at some point, say, for example, point E, tells me that AY times 80 equals C times 30. Well, that is somewhat useful. The C that I'm looking at is 8 thirds of AY, but it does not tell me what the answer is. I'm going to use either the free body diagram of the handle or the free body diagram of the top, and, top jaw and top handle together. Either one of them will give you what you need to know. If I look here at just the top handle, at A, I'm going to have equal and opposite forces from what I had over there. So AX was to the right, now AX is to the left. AY was up, now AY is down. They have to be equal and opposite. I have an additional external point of F. F is a pin. So I have FY and FX acting here. This free body diagram has two extra unknowns, but AX and AY are going to be the same. So my sum of the forces in x tells me fx minus ax equals zero. Well, ax is already zero, so now I know that fx equals zero. fy is ay plus 100, and I can take the sum of the forces. The tricky part in this problem really is figuring out where to take the sum of the forces about. If I take the sum of the moments, or rather the sum of the moments, if I take the sum of the moments at a, I can say 100, that 100 newton force has as its moment arm 400 cosine 15. I also have Fy acting at a distance of, now you can look up here on this triangle right here. This triangle has a 20 millimeter hypotenuse, so this is going to be 20 sine 15, and this is going to be 20 cosine 15. So the Fy is going to have a moment arm of 20 cosine 15, and I also have minus Fx of times 20 cosine 15. Excuse me, this one is sine. Fx is already zero. Fy is Ay plus 100. So if you solve for that, you get Ay is 100 times 400 cosine 15 minus 20 sine 15 divided by 20 sine 15. That gives you Ay is 7364.1 newtons. Now C, we know from the other side, is 8 thirds of Ay. So C is 19.6376 newtons. So my cutting force, C, is 19.6 kilonewtons.